Namaste. Today I'm going to talk about Kashmir because there are many rumors that Mr. Modi, Mr. Amit Shah and Mr. Doval are on the verge of trifurcating Jammu and Kashmir and thus removing Article 370 and 35A which uh, is one of the uh, very strong pledge of Mr. Modi when he was campaigning in 2014. I for one think that would be a wonderful move. It's a tough decision, but it's one that needs to be taken. Kashmir belongs to India. I repeat, Kashmir belongs to India. Shivaism, you know, Shivaism was born there. A very high philosophy, very ancient philosophy, born in Kashmir. Kashmir, once upon a time, was also a highlight of Buddhism, a seat of Buddhism. You know, Buddhism flourished in Kashmir. So Kashmir is very much part of the cultural, historical legacy of India. Unfortunately, Kashmir was invaded. It's a beautiful place, so it attracted many invaders. And invaders from Iran, from Turkmenistan, from Afghanistan came to Kashmir, conquered Kashmir and forcibly converted Kashmiri Hindus and Buddhists to Islam. Now today, these converted people, you know, it's a very sad that they have adopted a religion, a militancy, a hatred, which is not there in Hinduism because their great, 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 great grandparents suffered so much from invasions. Now, I have spent a lot of time in Kashmir. I covered Kashmir extensively uh, at the height of militancy, you know, in the, in the 90s, from say, you know, 89 till 2000, when I saw the exodus of the Kashmiri Pandits, people, you know, who had never done any harm, you know, who had accepted their Muslim brothers and sisters, you know, went to the house for a festival. They were just chased out by violence of their ancestral, ancestral homes and lands. Uh, and this touched me immensely. This is why, you know, my museum has an exhibition, permanent exhibition on the plight of the Kashmiric Pandits who became refugees in their own country. Now, the media calls, you know, the Kashmiri militants, uh, separated, but actually the war in Kashmir is an ideological war in the name of Islam. There is no other reason for the Muslims of the Valley of Kashmir, their revolt is only in the name of Islam, because they want to go back to Islam, basically they want to go back to Pakistan. So it's a, it's, you know, it's a totally one-way traffic, because you see that Kashmiri Muslims are all over India, they have taken over the trade whether it's in Pune, in Pondicherry, all the souvenir trade has been taken over by them. And if you talk to them, especially if you're a Westerner, they come, they come out with a hatred of India. So they are doing business in a country that they hate and nobody else can do business in their, in their state because no Indian is allowed to start a business or to, you know, to own land in Jammu and Kashmir. So it's totally illogical, it's a one-way traffic. So if Mr. Modi and Mr. Shah and Mr. Doval indeed you know, trifurcate Jammu and Kashmir and remove Article 35A and 370, it's only justice. You know, it's something so natural, so obvious that any other government should have done it before them. So my hat goes to Mr. Modi if he does this, because one is something that he promised before being elected in 2014 and again in 2019. And secondly, this is the obvious thing to do. This is justice. Namaste.